Hey everyone, it's me, the Disneyland Geek, on this beautiful Cinco de Mayo day, coming to you from Anaheim, California, where I just parked at the Anaheim Hotel, right across the street from the Disneyland Resort. Um, the park has been open again for almost a week, and since I'm out of state, I still, unfortunately, can't go into the parks, but I'm gonna make a day out of visiting downtown Disney and um, possibly see if I can even walk uh, around the Grand Californian Hotel for a little bit. I have a two o'clock reservation at Naples. I've been looking forward to eating there again for quite a while. And honestly, it just feels so good to at least be back here. Uh, I'm, just, uh, I'm just so excited to get to walk around the Disneyland Resort again. So um, yeah, let's go. So you're able to park here at the Anaheim Hotel for $25. But if you go to MiceChat.com, you can actually find a voucher and only pay 15 This is a very nice hotel to stay at. I've stayed here a couple of times. Um, you know, it's a very nice room and like it's a, it's a good choice for those who want to stay uh, off property. And you're right within walking distance to Disneyland. So yeah, it's nice to see uh, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, um, over there again. Um, you know, constantly checking wait times, you know, they've been pretty reasonable. Um, I don't think they've ever really gone past 40 minutes, but like pretty much for right now, like a lot of attractions are walk-ons. Well, I just went through temperature check and a security screening, and now I'm in the plaza. And let me tell you, it feels so strange seeing it so empty. I mean, you'd have at least several lines on either side going into the park, but since they're at reduced capacity, I mean, I get, um, you could probably just walk up to the gates. Honestly, it just feels so good to be here. And I'm, I'm just really happy. I mean, I'm happy even though I'm not able to go into Disneyland or California Adventure right now, but you know, I've waited this long and I've, I've been waiting for the past year and few months so far already. So what's another, what's another two, three months? I'm sure Disney will, is probably working on something out on how to uh, um, let out state visitors in and they'll probably release more tickets um, for like the upcoming months. Cause like so far the reservations are only for this month and June. They haven't released a schedule for July yet. So probably when they do, they'll probably announce uh, that out state visitors can come. They'll probably, uh, I mean, they might do the same thing as Universal, like just to provide proof that you're fully vaccinated, like by showing them your card um, along with ID. So, um, I mean, it's only a matter of time, but I'm just really happy to be here. Like, you know, it's just, I'm just, I'm just really happy. So as you can see, none of the ticket booths are open at the moment. Um, so, um, so you have to buy your tickets online. Um, I'm guessing like if you're an out-of-state visitor, they'll probably have to like come here to the ticket booths to get your tickets as well, maybe? Um, but I mean, it's hard to say because like, if you have to reserve which theme park you're going into in advance, um, and then like you show up hoping to get a ticket and then realizing you can't get into a park for a day. It's, uh, I'm, sh I'm sure this is all stuff Disney's trying to figure out right now. Well, I stand corrected. I guess at least one window is open. <laughs> so there you go. But yeah, they have all these uh, physical distancing markers now, um, which <laughs> um, I, I mean, there's hardly any lines. You can just walk right up to the gate. Um, so I'm gonna at least walk up <laughs> toward uh, the middle of the gate to at least take a peek inside Disneyland. So walking toward downtown Disney, the trams aren't running right now, so you have to walk to the making friends uh, and Pixar parking structure. But that's not where we're going. Um, gonna see how I can get into World of Disney. Well, it was actually easier than I thought I was able to walk in, so. <laughs> um, love the new uh, 
well, it's not all new merchandise, but they have some new, and I'm gonna go on a very nice shopping spree. So this is one of the things I've been really getting into is the new emos. Um, you can get a Disney character and you can dress them up in various different outfits um, that you can buy. Um, and I've seen several pictures online uh, where cast members have made uh, um, outfits themselves and put them on. So I currently have uh, one for Stitch and I have at least four outfits, um, including this one that was made uh, by Ashley Eckstein, who voices Ahsoka on Clone Wars. And you can tell like these were definitely made to be Instagrammable, so uh, which uh, sucks for me since I'm not on social media anymore. Besides YouTube, that is. I have to say, there's a lot less people in here than there are at um, the World of Disney at Disney World. Um, I'm wondering if it's uh, just because it's mainly locals visiting um, this World of Disney versus uh, Disney World where people from everywhere come to visit. So in case you couldn't tell from my face mask, I'm a big Stitch fan. And it looks like this one just came out. And it's definitely different material from all the other spirit jerseys I've uh, worn before. So it's definitely good for the summertime. And of course they have a little island dedicated just to Stitch. Um, oh, well, I guess there's stuff from Monster University too. So it looks like Disneyland recently released uh, all their merchandise for Pride, which is just a month away. And it all looks awesome. I wonder which one I should get. And they even have Pride face masks. And they even have Pride merchandise for Star, Star Wars. <laughs> I mean, just look at this. It's so adorable. One of the things I like about the store is like their tribute to uh, Disney animation. It's like they have these actual rough sketches and every once in a while they come to life like this. If there's one thing I really love, it is coffee mugs. I have, like, pretty much a cabinet full of them. I have to always resist the urge to buy another one. So I bought all my stuff, and uh, uh, the cast members just got these in uh, a few minutes ago, and so I'm one of the first uh, to have this, apparently. So it's nice because I had lost my other uh, magnet, so this shows that I am a legacy pass holder. So now with my coffee in hand, I am just strolling through downtown Disney and again, it's so weird uh, seeing it just empty. Um, you can see over there, there's the entrance to Grand Californian and it does look like that only hotel guests can walk through there. So sadly, I won't be visiting there today. So it's mainly just gonna be downtown Disney, but again, I'm just happy to be back at the Disneyland Resort. So it's, you know, it's very rare for me to see downtown Disney, you know, not as busy as normally it would be at this time of year. Um, and it's probably gonna change once the pandemic ends and things return to normal. Um, but, you know, it, I mean, it feels like it's such a nice day out. You know, the weather's perfect. Um, uh, it's great weather for people watching. And, um, Again, you know, it's just a good feeling uh, being here again after a year and a few months. Um, and, you know, like I said before, I don't even care that I, I can't go into the parks or the Grand Californian Hotel. Um, but, like I said before, it just feels really good to be here. So I, I think I'm pretty much just going to sit here and people watch um, for the next uh, half hour or so while I enjoy my coffee. Um, and really just take in what a beautiful California day this really is. So now I've wandered over to the west side of the district and now I'm gonna take a look inside the Star Wars trading post which used to be a rainforest cafe. There's the vehicle that Ray drove.
So they certainly did a good job retheming the whole uh, um, place to make it seem like a hidden rebel base. They certainly have a good variety of merchandise here, although I think most of it uh, has to do with the child. Still, look how cute Grogu is. So now I'm at my uh, 2 o'clock reservation in Naples. Um, it feels so nice outside right now, so I thought I'd sit out in the patio by the bar. Um, and since it is single de Mayo, I have to have a margarita. Very delicious. Figured I'd order myself a nice pepperoni pizza and it looks absolutely delicious. <sighs> that was a very good uh, lunch. Um, the pizza was delicious as uh, Naples usually always is. And with that, I'm probably just gonna linger around in the um, plaza between the two parks for a little while and then head back to the hotel. Um, today has been a very good day and I'm so happy to be at least walking through the resort again and uh, hopefully Disney will allow our safe visitors back into the parks real soon um, but until then I'm ready to wait a little longer so that's gonna do it for me um, hope you all have a, a wonderful day um, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos um, and until the next time, see you in the parks.